Welcome back to Ark Aberration PvP Tribal Life. And I thought I'd give you guys a bit of an update on the series. Show you guys a bit of a base tour and show you guys a bit of the daily grind that we've been up to behind the scenes at the moment. So you guys know of a good spot to build. You guys have been asking for good base locations. We've got a pretty good base location here. I'll give you guys a base tour at the end. Um, first up, I'm going to show you guys the drops and the surface because we built at a surface base. And the reason we moved from our old base was because there was too many nameless ones spawning in that location. It was just painful. So if you build up uh, near the starter zone in the in the nicer area, the nameless ones don't spawn as often or in certain spots, so it's much easier to live. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd just touch base. Hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. Merry Christmas to you guys. Thanks for the crazy spot on the channel. You guys are absolute legends. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling really good about the channel at the moment. I think it's back to a good place, back to like the good old days. So you guys are absolute legends. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys had an awesome Christmas. So the first drop location I'm going to show you guys is the one near our base here. It's an okay drop location, but it's pretty damn big. The second one I'll show you is actually the best one. So I'll, I'll go through these drop locations with you guys. And then if you want to see the base, stay tuned to the end because I don't want to be clickbaity and show people who came to see the drop locations the base tour because they won't care less. What I like to do is take the um, Rock Drake out to go drop hunting because it's probably the best way to get drops. Because what you can do is you can stay camouflaged until you see a drop. And then you can go and uh, make yourself known, pop out, grab a drop and then camouflage again. And you can largely sort of get away from most of the uh, most of the Reaper Kings, which is quite handy. Obviously, the Reaper Kings are pretty brutal. So you've got to make sure it's 90% night. And I like to stay, we like to stay out until about 3 just to be safe. So this is one of the spots where the drops are at. I think there's two drops that spawn out here. So you've got a chance to get two, two different drops. And there's three different surface zones. There's one that's really small. This is like a pretty decently sized one. And then there's like a, a tiny, a tiny one. So you just gotta be careful with your stamina because obviously um, using a camouflage uses your stamina. There's a drop. And make sure you've got a bulb dog as well so the nameless ones don't don't like destroy you. Oh, there's a Reaper King. I think that one's actually seen us somehow. Don't know how that is. Why is it so small? Oh. I might just fight these ones. The Reaper Kings aren't that bad. I've got a good saddle, so I, I think I can take them out. Usually you can get away without them seeing you though, so... Don't really know what happened there. You gotta be careful when they die though, because they do spit that acid on you, so... It's not good. Oh, long neck. Crappy long neck though. Keep an eye on the time. Oh. See, you really gotta be careful when they die. So as soon as you pick up a drop out here, another one's gonna respawn. Let's regain some stem quickly if we can. Oh, that's an alpha. That's not good. That is not good at all. Probably gonna die here. I'm not sure how strong the alphas are. Yeah, this isn't good. I've never fought an alpha out here. This is not good at all. Let's try and run away. Regain stem here for a second. Just need to regain a bit of stem. Glide away. Never go back. So obviously you don't want to fight the Reaper Qu The Alphas like this. Because they are just brutal. It's the first time I've actually seen 
an alpha king. So I'm going back. I'm going home to safety because I don't want anything to do with that. So there's actually two entrances to that previous uh, surface, but I would say this surface that I'm about to show you is easily the best because it's all in one area. You can see the whole room, the whole surface from the entrance, and there's two drops, and they continuously respawn. So this is the one you want to come to. You need the aggravate mushrooms to get into this one, so you have to make sure you've got the buff on so you can walk through because there's a uh, lucigen in the entrance. But once you do that, this is easily the best drop location. You can stay here like for ages, just waiting for the drops to respawn. And there's a big pit in the middle as well where you can bait the Reaper Kings into if you get aggroed. So all in all, this is probably easily the best the best zone, in my opinion. And from my experience, as you'll see with the, the last one um, and the first one, the first one's very big and it's quite dangerous. There's a lot of Reaper Kings that do spawn. And if you get aggroed by an alpha like you saw me, do, it's hard to get away from them, I guess. I mean, obviously if I had stamina, I probably could have got away, but... I just think this is easily the best location, and I'm pretty sure the drops don't fluctuate in their difficulty and in their quality, so I think all the drops on the surface are the same. I'm pretty sure at least, because up here, I've seen red drops spawn, yellow drops spawn, and like, all the colours of the rainbow, you know what I mean? There we go. As you can see, this is the whole room. This is the whole area up here. And it's nice and open, so it's easy to get away from stuff if something aggro's on you, which is awesome. So this is my favorite spot to come for drops. And obviously, if you guys aren't aware, the surface drops are the best drops on... Um, on... Uh, Aberration. So the Reaper King spawned on me here, but it was easy to get away with. It was easy to get away on the... Uh, Rock Drake, because you can just jump across the valley and bait them down below. Obviously, if you do bait them down below and the drop spawns, you might have a few Reaper Kings to deal with, but overall, it's pretty easy to get away from them here, as you can see. Because once you get further enough away from them, obviously, like anything else in Ark, they, they lose aggro. So basically, you just got to cruise around until the, the drops come down. If you stay invisible, I have found the... The Ruby Kings don't tend to spawn as much, but I think they still sense you've yet too close to them even when you're invisible. I screwed it up here a little bit. But luckily Ripper Kings can't climb. Oh, it's so cool up here on the surface. It reminds me of Pitch Black. And I think that's what they've gone for. If you guys have seen the movie Pitch Black with Vin Diesel, it's definitely inspired by that. Or actually one of the other movies in that in that trilogy because I think it's I can't remember if it's Pitch Black or another one, but either way, one of them they can't survive in the daylight. Because it just burns everything, so they have to run at night. I think it's Chronicles of Riddick, like the second one maybe. Either way, I love those movies. I have to go watch those movies again. Because this reminds me so much of it. It's definitely inspired by it. Same with those little light creatures. They're hundred percent inspired by Pitch Black movies and Chronicles of Riddick. Half of you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. They're old movies now. Damn. Time goes quick. Anyway, so you guys get the picture. Just stay out here. The drops will keep respawning. And just keep an eye on, on the time. If it gets 50% day and 50% night, get the hell out of there. And uh, if it gets near morning, get the hell out of there as well. You can actually stay till about 4, just to be safe. But I wouldn't risk it any later. So, just rinse and repeat. So, I'll show you guys the, the last spot, but I highly recommend come to this spot if you want the easiest and safest way to get your drops. Because it's definitely, definitely the best, in my opinion at least. If I'm wrong, and the drops that spawn here aren't as good as the other positions, let me know in the comments. 
But I'm pretty sure they are, from, from my testing at least. So, this last spot is the southwest surface. And this one's another pretty big surface position. And there's actually three drops that spawn here, but I would say it's really not worth it because they just respawn. Like in the other location, in the smaller one, they just respawn straight away, so it's not really going to benefit you going to one of these uh, surfaces because they are too brutal, in my opinion. And you just get chased down by too much stuff and you have to spend ages looking for where the drops come. In that time, you could have just waited for the drop to spawn in the easy spot that I showed you in the second drop location. Plus, there's a glitch spot on this one where you can fall down. And I actually fell down in this hole and got stuck. And later on, I had to build myself out with thatch. So you can actually build on these surfaces, but it does get demoed when the sun comes. And you can see here, as soon as I get this drop, a ton of Reaper Kings spawn. So I just get the hell out of there because, like, the other positions... I don't know, there doesn't seem to be as many Reaper Kings, but they might have just been unlucky. But either way, there was a ton of Reaper Kings that spawned. And I got stuck in this glitch spot, which has happened to a few of our guys in our tribe. So you've got to be really careful. Um, obviously, I wasn't doing it intentionally, and you sort of you can't see it there. But you can't stick to that um, to part of the surface here. Just strange. And you can't actually stick to the ledge when you get up there. So I fell down in this hole and couldn't get back up. So I'd highly recommend, probably don't go to this drop zone. The easy one spawns straight away. There's just too many benefits to it. But I hope you guys found this a bit helpful, showing you guys where all the drops are and the surface entrances. What I want to do in this series is cover basically everything to do with aberration for you guys. So there's going to be a bit of PvP, there's going to be a bit of base, base maintenance and daily base stuff. As you guys would have seen on the old PvP Tribe Life series like on Scorched Earth. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Hopefully it's not too boring and hopefully there's not too much PvE. There should be some more PvP coming up pretty soon, so stay tuned. But this is where I got stuck and I had to kill myself. If you get stuck on the surface or if you die, just leave your creature out of render and it won't die in the daytime. Because if something's out of render, it doesn't take damage. So I was actually able to get this back later on. Alright, so if you guys made it this far... Pop a juicy in the chat below. It was awesome. In that video I did uh, showing how to get the rock drake eggs. I said put a legend in the chat and that that video has got so many comments of legend. It, it just made me happy, you know. Just pop a juicy in the chat and I'm sure I'm gonna show you guys our base. Uh, so we've been pretty busy. The guys have been busier than me. I've been really hectic with real life family stuff over Christmas. Obviously that's why I haven't been able to upload much and record much, but our base spot here at the first position I showed you guys to the to the entrance to the surface is amazing because it's got metal nodes just before the entrance so we can get a full load of uh, a forge right next to our base and it's just like a two entrance cave so it's quite easy to defend which is awesome. So we've been quite busy putting these uh, rock platforms up. You can see you can put them right into the rocks which is awesome for dino storage. So you can stick all your rock drakes, your spinos and stuff up high, out of the way, which is a really awesome way to store your dinosaurs, so it keeps them out of the way. And rock drakes are so good for storage anyway, because you can stick them on the walls. But this is our base, obviously we're breeding a lot of paras at the moment. And yeah, this is the service entrance, and these are where the metal nodes are usually, except we just went for a farming run. So, it's a pretty good spot to build, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. Trying to take one of the surface entrances, because it also means you've got... Uh, unimpeded access to the, the surface drops too but just be aware people can get to your base from that surface as well in most cases except for that sur second surface drop area and uh, yeah sorry if it's a bit boring for you guys these episodes but I like to cover everything in um, the expansions in my series so today obviously we're just covering surface drops but I thought I'd put a bit of base building in there too and sort of make it like a daily a daily thing that we do at the base which is for me Hunting drops, um, metal runs, crystal runs, all that good stuff, rock drake runs, and just, just base maintenance, which you guys don't see much of behind the scenes, and I don't show much of it usually. Um, obviously, I've been doing a lot of PvP recently on the channel with the pirate series and stuff, so if you guys do want to see stuff like this, let me know in the comments. 
And just let me know what you guys want to see. I should have a bit more PvP coming up soon, hopefully. But yeah, I thought you guys would like to see the base. And these are all the rock tracks. We've been been like breeding them. Hectic. Breeding a lot of rock tracks. This is inside the base. Uh, we've got the two forges set up. A lot of vaults, obviously, for all, all your goods. This crafting station is a bit interesting. You actually stand on top of the stations. But it actually works out pretty well. Because it's easy access to them. And multiple people can operate on it at the same time. And we've got the heavy turrets going. So you can see the base is taking shape. It's, it's pretty decent. I mean, it could have a few more turrets, but... You know, there's more things in life than turrets. And, uh, you know, you can't have too many turrets because it makes the server lag. And then the arc devs will nerf you. But I've been loving Aberration. I've really been enjoying this map. Everything except the mesh holes. I'm probably going to do a video on it because the mesh holes in this server, like in this X-Pack, is so bad. So we've got a lot of crabs. We've got everything that's on aberration now my reaper king's here somewhere too i should have shown you guys i'll show it in another video and that's the front of the base this is where you get to the surface entrance from the rest of the map so obviously we've focused most of our turret power there but we do have some turrets focused on the back end in case someone comes down from the surface that's pretty it's pretty sick it sort of looks like an archaeological archaeological dig site in my opinion which looks awesome I really like it, like that aesthetic, you know? You know, us PvPers, we can we can appreciate beauty as well. When it's shot into someone's head. That's the most beautiful sight. And uh, this base position is quite good from the, the main entrance because it's hard to walk land dinos up as well. I'll show you guys, but obviously on this map people can jump their crabs up with stegos to get to your base anyway. So we've got a fair few heavy turrets there. Obviously they've been boosted again, so they do five times standard turret damage and they don't have a tracking time anymore so it'd be pretty awesome to see them in action they're gonna just destroy things and this is front of the base so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode next episode I'll hopefully we'll hopefully do the boss soon so we might do some artifact runs I think that's about all I've got left to do in this um, expansion pretty much we've done pretty much everything else there is in the game so we'll either do some artifact runs or I'll hopefully have some pvp but it's a very pve map i guess we haven't had that much pvp but it's been a lot of fun doing all the pve stuff for the first time so this is the uh land entrance obviously you can't walk land dinos up the bottom part you can walk it up the slope so hope you guys enjoyed you guys are legends thanks to the crazy spot on the channel recently hope you guys have an awesome christmas had an awesome christmas and has, have an awesome new year. And I'll catch you guys next time.